breastfeeding moms, going out with a baby is anxiety because we don't exactly like breastfeeding in public. I mean, you can't blame me. I've spent over 20 something years covering it up. I'm not exactly comfortable whooping it out just because now I'm a mom. It just doesn't happen like that. Also, if you're a member of the Big Boobs Club, then you know it's very hard to breastfeed in public without flashing someone with your boobs or even worse, with your back fat. So if you hate breastfeeding in public, you have two options. You either remain a reckless at home until your baby's weaned or you keep watching and let Loveth hook you up. Now hit the like button and meet me in the kitchen. Now let me start off with the Captain Obvious portion of this video and that is there is absolutely nothing wrong with using formula when you're outside the house. In fact, that is part of my plan. When we're home, the baby's going to breastfeed, but when we're outside, hey, I'm, I'm supplementing with formula and that is perfectly fine. We have generations of babies that grew up on formula. Heck, we have generations of babies that grew up on both breast milk and formula. This baby right here. <laughs> and look how I turned out. So it is perfectly fine. And if that's the route you take, all you need is the formula, pre portion uh, formula, so there's no measuring while you're out. In fact, they have pre portion containers now that you can buy on Amazon. Your water and your bottle. And that's it, right? How convenient is this? <laughs> but if you if you are like 2014 love it, if you're I'm a new mom and I don't want to cut up my baby with formula and I don't want to mess up my baby's system with chemicals that is formula. I got you. I know. I understand because I was like that back in 2014 as a first time mom. Well, here are a couple options for you. Let's start with the first and that is to pump right before you leave. You know what this is. You know. The benefit of this is it's good for five to six hours. You don't have to worry about warming it up. You don't have to worry about, is it still good? Fresh straight from the oven for your baby. Another benefit is because you just pumped right before leaving, you have a lot more time before this gets engorged. You know the feeling and you have to figure out where to pump while you're out and about. And you know, whenever your baby's ready to eat, it's in a bottle, tied out. You're good to go. How convenient is that? But, if you have managed to spoil your baby like I have in her few months of life, then you know that just pumping and putting it in here is not going to work because you have managed to get her used to warm milk. Yes, people, this is my third child and still I have found a way to get her used to warm milk. So she's not going to eat from this after a couple hours because now it's room temperature and she doesn't do room temperature milk. So if that's the case, then here's what you do. When you pump, rather than putting the milk into this bottle, put it into this, your thermostat. Or your uh, flask. I call it flask, flask, thermostat, which, whichever one. Now you can also use a Yeti. I'm trying to see if I have a Yeti. You could use a Yeti and it will keep it at the temperature for I think about four hours it will keep it warm. All right, your second option, because I hear you, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Love, do you know how long it takes me to get out of the house? By the time I've packed up the diaper bag and I've gathered all the other kids and all the other things I need to do. I know, it takes us about, what, 30 minutes just to get out of the house? Who has time to pump? right before leaving. And if you just fed your baby, which is what most people do, if you just fed your baby right before leaving the house, then chances are maybe you don't have enough supply to pump again. I understand. So your next option is to use your stored frozen or refrigerated milk. As a breastfeeding mom, you're not new to storing your breast milk. So what you need is your frozen milk, Ziploc bag, Hot water, either in a thermostat, flask, uh, Yeti, whichever one, and your bottle. Do not forget the bottle because Love It has done that before. Now, the reason why you need a Ziploc bag is, as this is melting in your diaper bag, you good, mama? 
As this is melting in your diaper bag, um, this keeps it from, you know, the condensation from getting into everything else, you know, from getting your diaper bag wet. I hate that feeling when you put your hand in, now you have that wet area. This keeps that from happening. Another thing is, this will catch any milk that may leak out of the bag because while this is frozen, right, it can easily get scratches and nicks on it. And you're not going to know until it starts melting and you start seeing the milk coming out of it. And you know it's liquid gold, you can't afford to lose any. So this will catch all that, all right? So what do you do when you're out and your baby's ready to eat? You simply grab your milk. You're going to need some sort of bowl, Tupperware or whatever. If your Yeti is big enough, then this is also another good option. So what you do, I'll show you with a Tupperware or with a bowl and I'll show you with a Yeti. So you simply put your milk in the bowl, pour your hot water in there and just let it be. Now make sure you keep an eye on it so it's not <laughs> way too warm for your child because then you now have to wait for it to cool down but your baby's already hungry. So you're now out in public with a crying baby and your breast milk sitting in a bowl and everyone is staring at you. Take care of your baby, handle your baby and there goes anxiety. Okay, so keep an eye on the milk to make sure it doesn't get too warm. Now another option because I don't always like using a Tupperware bowl. I'm not really a big fan of it. Something else you can do is put the milk directly into your Yeti cup or into your thermostat. Now, I forgot to take this uh, milk out before shooting this video, but most of the time, by the time you're ready to feed your baby, it's melted some, right? And you can um, fold up the bag and just dunk it into the cup with the hot water. It's not all the way in, but as it's melting, it will go in completely. Same thing with the, if you're using a thermostat, same thing, you can do that. Now, one other thing, if you absolutely do not want to go through all this shindig and you're like, love it, I need an easier process. I need a more straightforward process. I got you again. So here's what you do. Before leaving the house, go ahead and defrost this. Get it completely defrosted. Now, if you're running out of time and you're about to go, hey, just do what you got to do. Take this out from the freezer and go. But if you have the time, then go ahead and defrost this at home so it's now down to a room to room temperature. And so when you're out and about, you can give your baby that milk. But if your baby is as picky as my baby and she wants it warmer than room temperature, then this is very pliable and easy to just dunk in there and melt. All right. So, so far in this video, I've given you how many options? Four options. One, you could use your formula because there ain't nothing wrong with formula. Babies have been growing on it and they've been fine. And there is nothing wrong with that. Also talked about pumping before you leave. Right before you leave, you pump, put it straight in the bottle and be good to go. Or put it in a thermostat to keep the temperature warm so that when your baby's ready to eat, it's still a bit warm, you know, lukewarm. For her or him to eat and then we've also talked about using your frozen stored milk getting that showing you how to melt that while you're out and about you melt it in a tupperware or you melt it in your thermostat um, or yeti cup and once it's ready to go you pour it in the bottle and your baby's ready to eat or finally you defrost it at home before you leave and get it to room temperature so when your baby's ready to eat you're ready to go or if it's still kind of cold, defrosted, but cool or cold, and your baby doesn't like that, have your hot water, warm it up in there, and you're good to go. Now, I know these are really helpful options because these are the things that I do. So I'm sure it will help someone out there. But if you are an experienced mom and you also don't like breastfeeding in public, let me know what you do. What let us know what hacks or what you do and put in place so you can avoid breastfeeding in public. If you're a new mom and you plan on using any of this, then please do not be selfish and let me know in the comments because I really like to know if any of these hacks are helping any one of you. So once again, thank you. Thank you for watching. And remember, there is absolutely nothing wrong with breastfeeding in public. It's just if you're not comfortable with it, I get it. I'm not comfortable with it and I'm all pro breastfeeding, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Mommy, hmm? is this a baby?